Tom. Mr. Tate. <laughs> See, you got three rings in there, yeah? Okay. Tom, I'm going to ask you to hold these on your lap. This is a family show, so keep the knees together if you would. <laughs> That's it. Good. Right on top. Good. Now, give me one nap. That was good. But make it more. Like if I said to you, that's it, you're good, you're mad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, before we go any further, before Tom uh, tries to catch me on this, <clears throat> I'm going to explain to everyone who doesn't know this routine, uh, or effect, because it's been around a while, that Tom is the only person in the audience that's not going to know how this effect works. Uh, everybody here is going to see how it's done, everybody uh, here is going to see exactly what's taking place, but Tom is not going to see, because it's based on, on a point that most magicians rely on very heavily, misdirection. It's the ability to fool one or a thousand people. It makes no difference. Misdirection is, is the key. And uh, Tom, you're going to try and catch me on this, right? Unless you know this already. Uh, I'm not real. I know you knew the ring, but this you don't know. I'm honest. <laughs> I'm honest. All right. <laughs> better than being immodest, you know? All right. Tom. I'm going to ask you, I know the microphone's close, but I'm going to ask you to keep the, the napkins on the, on the lap and lean a little forward because many people accuse me of dropping on the floor where they can't see it and then they have to do it. So this way you're already there. And not only that, I can hold it closer so everybody can see. This is how it's going to take place. How close. I'm going to slam it into the hand this way and I'm going to roll it up into a little napkin. I'm going to roll it into a little ball like that. Now watch what happens. When I put the ball in the left hand, believe it or not, it's going to happen in a minute. And I close the hand, give it a little squeeze. Tom, when I open up the hand, the ball will completely disappear. Now come close. I want you to blow that ball. Right? Watch it, right? You take your eye off. doing this for a while, folks. <laughs> What's my cup? <laughs> All right, Tom, good. Uh, here we go. Now, you know what to watch for. The first one, you don't have any idea. Huh? Watch. If you don't watch it, the second one, you're not going to see where it goes. I guarantee it. So watch it very close. Can you lean down a little bit? That comes low. Now, before I tried to fool you, I put it in a different spot, so obviously you wouldn't, you wouldn't catch it. And I had it this way. Now, why do you think you couldn't see the ball, Tom? Do you have an idea? Go ahead and try it again. Very good answer. Most people say that. I would say. This time I'm going to put it dead center. Come close. I want you to put it dead center. <laughs> <laughs> So they wouldn't be able to tell on the stage. Yeah? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> From rehearsal, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. But I really didn't drop that. Okay, drop it. Watch it. Now, you know, most people don't realize when you want to relax, when you truthfully want to relax, you have to fold your arms and sit back. So I apologize for not giving you that opportunity. You were sitting forward, you were staring at So this time I want you to really relax. Fold the arms. But they say you can't really relax. You have to all awake. These rings are okay. Oh, no problem. They're not too heavy, but I mean, you can. This time, they're not going to lean forward. You're going to relax. There's no reason why you shouldn't catch this one. I know what you're going to say. First of all, we're going to tell you. Look up here. Now watch. Watch. Thank <laughs> you. 
me explain something to you. Most people catch it after the first one. You know? <laughs> I'm going to hold this. Now, here we go. This is the big one. The big finish. I don't have any more napkins. <laughs> I'm going to take it step by step so you can follow it because even I start to wonder, you know? <laughs> first of all, it won't fit here. It doesn't fit too easily there. It's pretty hard to get it in here with you looking. It's hard to get in there with them looking. Well, you know it's there already, right? right. Are you sure? Right. All right. Give it a pull. Uh, see, he's getting very nice with the blows too lately, you know. Toward the, as each person, you know, as they progress toward the end, it's nice. You know. Tom, would you bet the ball is there? Yes or no? Would you bet? Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> you would bet it's there. Yes, but you didn't bet anything. <laughs> the most money in my wallet, I couldn't give you any more because you didn't tell me. Let me explain. That's, I'm going to go back to the beginning and explain, all right? Come close. At the beginning, I went like this, rolled it up. Suppose I hit it behind the hand, but then I went this way at the end. Then I put it right in the center. Now, come close. I want you to blow. <laughs> really blow. Really blow. This is a big one, right? Not that hard. Take a little bit of it back. That's it. All right. You know, I'll tell you something. Tom is such a good sport to come up here. I think this whole thing is a little bit over his head, don't you? <laughs> I tell you, folks, you don't believe me, but you could you could drop anything up here. You could drop Mark Cal napkins on this stage, and they wouldn't. You could have the whole company. Up here. <laughs>